So at the moment, we, we're talking about avian influenza, uh, which is a disease that affects a lot of birds. But we have an outbreak of a more dangerous variant of the disease, and that's the H5N1 high pathogenicity strain. It's been affecting seabirds in um, South Africa and other countries all over the world for the last um, year. And we've had thousands of birds die. The penguins aren't that badly affected, but we have had a recent outbreak at the Boulders penguin colony and a uh, few penguins have died there and that's what we're concerned about. All these adults, usually they come in with problems, uh, wounds and injuries and things. Um, but now they're looking so healthy, I don't even recognize who's who. In seabirds in South Africa over the last year, we've lost um, over 20,000 birds. But uh, just recently at the Boulders um, National Park, we've only uh, lost 28 penguins. So it's a small outbreak in a um, community of about 3,000 penguins that's, that live at this colony. So it's not terrible there, but we are monitoring the situation in case it get worse, gets worse. So it's most concerning if it gets into our commercial poultry, where it can kill large numbers of um, ostriches, but mostly um, commercial chickens, and that can cause a huge economic effect. And from an ecological point of view, we're interested and concerned when it affects large numbers of, of wild birds. So seabirds have been really badly affected. Endangered Cape cormorants were poorly, badly affected last year, and in other countries, gannets and terns. So we, we know that it affects large numbers of different species and it can kill large numbers of individuals as well.